Glenn, Big Baby Davis, how are you? Look yes, at this. Sir. We're talking about physicality today. <laughs> We're talking about Hello. physicality today. And everybody physicality. getting on me on Twitter, and I'm like, listen, they created that three-point arc for you little guys. If yeah. you didn't, it would be a big guy league. That's what it was in the 50s, 60s. So if, they, if the hand check came back, would Steph be slightly less of a player? Uh, Steph would be tossed around like a little kid. If the hand check came back. Because you got to think about it. He's, what, 100 and what? 80. 80 pounds? How, how, how big were you playing in your prime? Uh, Probably about 315. Whoa! That's a man. That is a man. Yeah, huge. How big? Did you ever have to even bump into Shaq? Yeah, I had to bump a little bit. What was it like? A mountain. It was bumping a mountain. A mountain. If you bump chest like Mount Everest, I think. Arvita Sabonis, you ever bump him? No, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> what, now, the Cavs are clearly, Glenn, they're like, listen, we're going to move screens. We're going to get physical. When uh -huh. you watched it last night, did you like the Cavs game plan? I love the Cavs game plan because you got to play physical. It's the finals. Every single second counts. Every single second. You can't let a, a, a guy cut across the lane and not get touched. Or when you're defending somebody, let them feel your body a little bit. And I think, you know, watching game – Two, and they getting all those open, Draymond getting all those open jump shots. You know, they were contesting shots. Like, you, you can't let people just, just shoot the ball like that. 2008 Celtics, Lakers, some physical players. Kobe is chippy. A lot of big guys. KG Pierce. There is a sense in the NBA, regular season you officiate one way, finals the other. Was that the most – take me back to the physicality of the Lakers-Celtics and how you game-to-game uh, -game, the coaching staff talked about physicality. Well – it was, when you look at the board before the game, it was always probably one or two of the priorities of the game of what you have to do. Because you're going to know everybody's plays. And on the defensive side. Because the Lakers would do nothing that fooled you. No. We knew everything. We, unless he was, you know, Phil Jackson, threw, you know, drew up some magical play during the game. Other than that, we knew every single play. So how can you stop that? You got to get in the mix. You got to get your hands dirty. You got to make sure that you move them off their spots playing, you know, and, you know, playing the game. So, you know, it was always uh, something that we had to focus on during the game. Everybody is now this morning. Kevin loves terrible. And uh, so they lost by 30 with Love. They won by 30 without him. So apparently he's a 60-point swing player. Uh -huh. My argument is he's pretty darn good. He's an 18-10 guy. I'd still play him a lot of minutes. What if I said this? Bring him off the bench. What would you do with Kevin Love? Uh, How do you sell your team? What would you, you – you're Ty Lue tomorrow. If I'm Ty Lue, right, this is what I say. I say, Kevin, you're going to start. But you're going to be the first sub. Is that how coaches work? It, that's, how, that's how it works. If you see your all-star, right? He's an all-star, right? Sure. Once upon a time, he yeah. was. If you see him playing well, you leave him out there. But if you don't, uh, Richard, come on, let's go. Let's make another. So, what, what do coaches, Glenn, say before a game? Obviously, in the regular season, coaches get into patterns. Eight-minute uh -huh. mark, two guys come out. But do, will a coach say, I'll start you, but, Glenn, you're the first guy in out. Do you know when you're going in and out? I don't. But I can feel it. You, I can definitely feel it. When like Doc, when Doc, <laughs> hey, it's time to go. Come on. You know, when the game's not going well, and then you also <laughs> know something that was working for you in game three, you want to go back to it. Because guess what? Golden State will come out in game four and play better. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, the chemistry and the vibe of the team, you don't want to take Kevin Love away because he can play. But yeah. at the same time, he's not a good matchup for the Warriors. He's not at all. Um, why do you think Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, <laughs> LeBron, they're not in – I mean, they respect Steph, but they're like – I mean, I, I keep going back to this. He looks tw <laughs> he looks 12. And they, do they look at Steph as, okay, he's mastered the three-point shot, uh, but he ain't us. <laughs> do you think star players look at him like that? I think they're star player versus star player. They're always going to be haters. Are they? You know, they, yeah. They have big egos, right? Yeah, big egos. Oh, he's not. He's not as good as I am. I could shoot it if I was on that team. Like, you know, they always feel a certain type of way. You know, so like, like our stars, like Blake Griffin's different than other guys in the locker room. A little more, a little more. Chris Paul is Chris Paul different than the other guys in the locker room? Yeah, he's, yeah, they are different. If you're making more than you know, twelve million, fifteen million dollars a year. You're a little different. 
They're you're all gonna, different. You're going to act a little different. I heard Blake's a little different. It, yeah, we, we know Blake's a little different. I okay. heard Chris is a little different. You don't like Chris Paul. She doesn't like I, Chris Paul. I didn't say I you don't know, like Chris you, Paul, you, but what I've said is that I've heard that Chris Paul is a big problem in the locker room. Oh, boy. Oh, who? Who? oh, oh. Okay, I is can't he just tell saying? you my sources. Is he? Is oh. he, is he? Um, yes. <laughs> he has his way about himself. What is that way? You know, it's... You know, I'm Chris Paul. You know, give me the ball. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to dribble, 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 oh, dribble, 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 dribble. My pass. If it looks good or, you know, I'll shoot. You know, well, I'm, I'm sensing that. See, I t- my sources are good. That's Colin. good. You, you got to You went there. I was there. I dribble, was in the dribble. That whole thing was a code word for he dribbles too much. <laughs> <laughs> dribble, 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 okay. dribble. All right. How about so? So when I. The refs now are all ticked off, uh-huh. and the refs are like, listen, officiating's hard. We get 87% right, mm-hmm. and the NBA comes out after every big game and says, you know, last two minutes they made nine mistakes. I hate it because I don't, I don't know. Here's what I know. If I run a business, it's hard to get good employees, mm-hmm. and if you get them, don't throw them under the bus publicly. Mm. So I don't like it. You do. Throwing the refs under the bus, transparency, two minutes, memo. I've heard you liked it. I like it. The reason why I like it is because – there's so many other things that connect it to the game. You got to get the call right. You don't know how that's going to affect not only that team, that community, the fans. It's like, you know, everybody's held accountable. We have to be held accountable. We can't really show emotion. They tech us up every time we might say a word or we might do this, we might do that. But, hey, get the call. Get, get the, make the right call. Do you, what was your relationship with officials? Now, now for instance, a, a, great, a great example. So the other day we were saying the NBA knows sweeps aren't good for business. Mm-hmm. They're not good for TNT, ESPN. They're not good for your partners. So I, I don't think you think games are thrown. But would you know if you're Golden State and you're flying into Cleveland last night mm-hmm. okay, and you're lacing them up, are you feeling as a player those 50-50 calls ain't going our way? <laughs> I, I would feel some type of way. Because we are in a whole nother arena, you know, a lot of different pressure, you know, um, you just got to expect the worst and just hope that and hopefully, you know, you, you get you get some love. Remember somewhere. the game seven Boston Lakers at the Staples? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The one the that worst. Kobe was terrible. <laughs> I know. That's like, why do you have to bring that up? That's I know, but go back, go, okay, go back to that game, though. You guys didn't get oh, a lot of calls. We didn't get a lot of calls at all. You didn't get a lot of calls. I remember. Game. I remember. Ron Artest had two big threes. Oh, my God. And Kobe played like... Awful. Ugh. It was the worst game. So, but in that game, you go into that game, is Doc telling you, you're not getting a call tonight? Yeah. Doc says that. Doc, you know, I could definitely say he, you know, just, we got to go out there and take it tonight, guys. You got to take it. We got to take it. Because you're, you're not it. getting anything. We're not getting anything. We got to take it. Hey, by the way, you last game you played was with the Clippers. You're not happy with the Clippers, right? You got hurt and they didn't tell you? Yeah, I was I was kind of upset. What happened? Um, game six, Spurs, at the Spurs, I twist my ankle. Yeah. You know, no doubt in my mind. I don't care if it's broke. I'm playing game seven. But I don't think it's broke. I don't think it's broke. I'm just, you know, because I can still walk. I can still kind of play. I just twist my ankle. So I go to play. And play great game seven. Then we play Houston, where the horrible series where we were up by three to one. Brutal. You know, I get benched. I'm like, I'm telling them, hey, my ankle's broke, man. My ankle's, you know, something's wrong. So you knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong because. And what did they say to you? They were just like, oh, just keep playing. They shoot me up with some tortolone or whatever, whatever, some stuff. Shoot me up three times max. That's the only time. They bench me and then say, hey, okay, cool. Season's over with. We lost three to one. And. I go on about my business, and so, hey, I'm working out during the summertime, and I'm like, something's wrong. I go to find out a month before training camp for me to go on a team that your foot, your ankle's broke. Uh, you have torn ligament in your ankle, you know, you have chips. And I was like, wow, I'm out for the whole season. And they didn't tell you? Nobody told me anything. They just let me go. Is it lawsuit time? What do you do? Uh, No, I'm not that type of guy. You know, you know, I, I, I just know that things happen for a reason. And who specifically are you mad at? Uh, I'm mad at, at a lot of people. I'm mad at a lot of people. Doc? No, not really Doc, you know, because he's not a doctor. You well, know his what name I mean? is Doc. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not really mad at nobody. You know, I'm just upset that 
things, you know, the the right stuff didn't happen, and now I have to sit out, you know, because that's my livelihood, man. I got to feed my kid, you know, so. Yeah. What about movies? Didn't you want to get into movies in L.A.? Yeah. You're a little actor. Uh, a little actor. Okay, yeah. give me a performance right now. Okay, d- pretend wow. you're, okay, well, okay. You, you know, know he tried out for the blind side. Yeah. Did you really? He's going to be Michael Orr. I would ask you to cry on the spot, but that's too tough. Be a, I, I be a monster. That. You can cry on the spot. Okay, get the. You can cry. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> can you be a mobster? What if I walk in? You're a mobster. Uh, da, da. Hi, Mr. Davis. Here's a check. Hi. What okay. else you got? I got a. I got a revolver in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Or maybe yeah. I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> Well, you need to get the, you need I don't to get even the hell know what out that of here. Meant. What the hell? You need to get the hell out of here with that. <laughs> I don't even know what that meant. I do. I got a revolver in my pocket. <laughs> this wow. just turned into a whole different movie. <laughs> yeah, that was that was double R. I don't even know what that meant. X, X, X. Wow. All right.